Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. I am your host, mostly peaceful protester, Joker. Guys, tonight on the show, um, a lot of you have been emailing me over the last day saying, hey, Bella Thorne, do the Bella Thorne story. She made a million dollars in 24 hours and on, on OnlyFans. And I said, that's, that's a lot of money. So she must be somebody of note. And then I looked her up and I see she's just like a Disney star. So maybe a lot of you saw her in some Disney films and got all excited and said, ooh, I get to see some spicy photos of Bella Thorne and maybe they'll leak. And then I said, well, I like to, I let, like a fine wine, I like to open it, let it breathe a little, let it just see what, where the story goes. And then literally like a day or two later, Bella Thorne makes $2 million in her, in her first week on OnlyFans. And I said, okay, maybe I should start doing a story. But then we have more breaking news. Let's get recording. We'll talk about it. Oh, boy. How? I mean, good honor. I, I'm not, I'm not going to hate on a woman for making a hustle. I mean, if she, I don't know if she can't, if she can't cut it in the uh, actressing world. Or what, what made her decide to, to join OnlyFans? At least that was my thought a couple days ago. Now we know why she joined. And it wasn't to let the world see all her magnificent gifts that the Lord had given her. So here we have on page six, Bella Thorne earns one million on OnlyFans in 24 hours. And they talk a little bit about it. Um, but here's the part that I wanted to earn or to, to read that she earned a million in 24 hours. And... Um, $20 a month for subscribers. So 20 bucks just to sign up. And that's before you get any of the supposed spicy photos. I said, man, for 20 bucks a month, um, I am charging way too little for my work, which is free. <laughs> Unless you go over to my uh, bachelor.locals.com um, and over there, it's much less. So I said, maybe I got to start charging more. But again, I don't have... Uh, Bob's and v Vagine. So anyway, we, we come over here and uh, the, the next story. <clears throat> they say, uh, uh, spicy workers, adult workers say, Bella Thorne is ruining the business it, with a scam. They say, oh no, this isn't, this isn't good. Bella Thorne, I'm so jealous. Why? Because reasons, I guess. It's not a zero sum game. Like, you know, tomorrow if I found out that one of my other content creator guys in the manosphere like uh i don't know like donovan sharp or coach greg adams or or uh, uh rollo tomasi or any of those guys right if come to find out tomorrow they were like hey i'm making a million bucks a month that doesn't take money out of my pocket now yes i'd be like holy crap what did you do and can i get a share of that action but it doesn't take money out of my pocket so these other workers being like oh my gosh she's ruining everything well who cares but here's what Bella screwed up. Bella screwed up. And, and I'm going to share it how. So anyway, in her first week, $2 million debut, former Disney star Bella Thorne is getting backlash from the online spicy workers who, who say she has ruined the subscription-based platform for them. OnlyFans has garnered popularity since the start of the bug, especially after plugs from Beyonce and other celebrities, including Cardi B and Black China, who have also joined the platform. Now, I guarantee you they're not sending out spicy photos. While these changes have brought some great press to the platform, those who use it as their primary source of income are less excited. Now, if I put all my, I don't know if uh, there's a, I know about half of you are in the United States and half of you are overseas. I don't know if you know the expression, putting all your eggs in one basket. And, and that's kind of an old farmer's thing. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket because if you fall and you, and you drop all the eggs, you have no eggs. They're all broken on the floor. But smart creators and smart people say, you know, I if, if my only claim to fame were YouTube and that's all I had to rely upon, um, when YouTube goes down the drain or kicks you off or does something else, that's it. You're done. Well, these women are very upset because this is apparently the only way they have to make money. I got news for you. Unless you really rack up millions of dollars doing this, you're not going to have enough. And someday you might actually have to get a normal job instead of getting on video. So they, they continue on. Um, 
Critics are calling out Thorn for scamming users over promising spicy pictures that will probably not be delivered uh, since she uh, announced that she will not be doing uh, spicy photos in a tweet on Tuesday. Thorn's president has allegedly caused some channels or some changes to the way creators on the platform get paid. So um, they, she says that uh, initially these changes were ascribed to Thorn, who according to screen grabs being shared on social media, promised, sub promised subscribers spicy photos for 200 bucks despite previously saying on her Twitter that she would not sell them or sell the spicy pictures. The rumor was that her subscribers attempted to get their money back when the photos only showed implied spicy images, calling their credit card companies to reverse the charges. So here's what's happened. Uh, here's what happens. Basically, all these other girl workers are getting tipped and they're getting lots of money. And Bella comes on. She makes a couple mil just from the subscriptions. And then she says, 200 bucks, and I'm going to send out a spicy photo. So all these guys, let me uh, just uh, let me just uh, send this one. One of the worst deals ever made of any kind, signed by anybody. And a horrible deal. All these dummies send in 200 bucks to get their spicy photo. And then she says something that implies it. Now, I don't know what implied is. I don't know if that means like she has a piece of paper and it's like, I'm implying that I'm, I'm neckered behind this paper which she would be but it doesn't mean you get to see anything so all these guys get ticked off they re all request their money back and i don't know if if uh only fans can't like can't give it back or they're having to come to some sort of agreement because instantly they change the rules on only fans so the most you can charge for a pay-per-view instead of 200 or unlimited or whatever it was is now 50 bucks and the most that you can tip a worker is 100 bucks so basically now all these channels and, and or all the the OnlyFans content creators have had the rules changed on them because Bella screwed it up on them. So she rolls in and she says, okay, 20 bucks. She makes two mil. She says spicy photo for 200. She doesn't deliver. Everybody wants to back out now. And OnlyFans gets to keep like 20% 20, 20 of the revenue, I think. So that means they've got to give back like 400,000 just on the subscriptions and then I don't know how many of the, the pay-per-view things that people bought. They got to give all that back. People are having, just having a, a fuss over this. And then, so they quietly change the rules. So now the other workers are mad that they can't get these big tips and these big pay-per-views on their stuff anymore. Which, why anybody would send that kind of money to anyone, I just don't get. I mean, I, I can literally Google Bob's and Virginie and boom. Like more than I could ever... If I literally just went to a certain color tube or one of these other sites and I, I type in a category and hit play and, and just had it go from video to video, I would be dead before it got, you know, it'd be 50 years in the future before it got through all the videos. So why guys are for, and they're, they're free. So why guys are forking this stuff up? I still don't know. Um, but they... The, the women are completely ticked off. So here's what they say. So cute how Bella Thorne made her OnlyFans on a whim without doing it uh, once of research on how it would impact the community that she uh, effed up for us. Love that. Bella Thorne is the Walmart of OnlyFans. Support subscribe to your local small farmer's market of spicy workers instead. <laughs> so it comes out that the whole reason that she's... I'm trying to look for the paragraph here as I talk... But the so the sole reason that she decided to do this was she is is looking into doing a role about doing like a movie or something about this about being a, a an OnlyFans worker and she did this as research and everybody's kind of like well how do you how do you do this for research like why did you have to do it with your real name and your real information and with real money. Um, and, and let me see if I can find the uh, let me see if I can find the part where they say that she's doing this for a role. Okay, here it is. In an interview with Los Angeles Times, Thorne said her OnlyFans venture is partially prep work for a new movie with the Florida Project and Tangerine director Sean Baker. It's a feature we are researching as I'm living it currently. Thorne told the Times, "What are the ins and outs? What does a platform like this do to its users?" You can be me or this talented girl from Montana, and OnlyFans could change your life, if you want it to, of course. Thorne is also facing critique for exploiting the platform as an experiment, while some longtime spicy workers on the platform are struggling to pay rent. 
again, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. So here's the summary of everything that Bella Thorne, because everybody was super excited. And when I say everybody, I mean like guys that were only fans and I guess, guess guys that were Bella fans. But uh, here's the whole thing. So she jumps on, gets two mil from these these losers. Then, <laughs> then she says, I'm going to send out these photos, charges 200 bucks a pop, gets the money, says she's not spent sending out any spicy photos. Everybody wants their money back. OnlyFans has to change all their rules. And everybody in the world, both the people that subbed to her, the people that paid her money, and the other workers are now angry at Bella Thorne. So here's the good news for her. I guess she's got, maybe she gets to leave with a good chunk of this money. In the meantime, pretty much everybody involved in the whole situation absolutely hates her. So, hey, what do you know? Um, a solid a solid outcome for, uh, and, and maybe this is enough to burn guys to where they go, you know, maybe this whole paying for this stuff isn't, uh, isn't exactly a good idea. Who knows? Maybe they'll just go find another small town farm spicy worker to give their money to. I got nothing. But there you go, guys. There's the full story on what we know so far. If I find out something more, I will let you know. Uh, guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below as always. If you haven't, um, or if you have, uh, uh, thank you very much. And of course, the best way you can support me is like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out my older videos. Um, I'm going to slow down just a little bit. Instead of doing a couple of night, like two a night, I'm going to drop back down to one a night because I have no time to watch the news and do my hobbies because it's like from like doing two videos takes me about five or six hours a night. So I may drop down to one one video a night for a little while. But if you miss something for me, just make sure to subscribe so that when I do put something out, you'll catch it. But I'll keep up with you guys. I just got to enjoy some hobbies for a little while. All right, guys, that's it for me. This is Better Bachelor. I am Joker. And remember, they're mostly peaceful burning in the cities around America. Mm -hmm.